So g6, let's go here. Nice try. You miss it by one move. Nice try, dude. Nice try. Go here. Take the pawn, of course. Oh, no. I threw it. Oh, no. I threw it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I very nearly threw that. Luckily, at two seconds. If he had, like, ten seconds, that would have been a draw. Continue forward. It's the black pawns that are the first to strike. They're making their way down the board, becoming very close uh, to their queening square. Oh, yeah. And those pawns in the center, not so easy to get moving. And that's why he sacrifices a piece for the pawns, recognizing how dangerous they are. Now, even bishop a6, hit the rook, hit the knight behind it. The e4 pawn is loose. I think that white's position is about to collapse. Yeah, but he sacrifices again, oh but it's not a sacrifice. God, he found it. Not a sacrifice. It's a double attack on both the rook and the pawn. Ravnak, he shakes his head. He oh. knows what he's done. He Look at this. Sarin just moving his pawns forward in the middle. Ooh, but a counter idea from Sadwani, who gets his queen to give a check. Uh, the check is blocked fairly easily, though. Oh. Sarin now with just 17 seconds left. And what a move, uh, Robert. Oh, my gosh. He just blocks the queen. He resigns on the spot. We're going to pull up that game because the ending there was phenomenal. It's kind of a little bit sketchy. It's a little bit dangerous, too. Maybe more than a little dangerous. Um, yeah, like this is... I'm going to start running with my king, actually, because I don't like my position at all. Okay, but now I take and he's getting mated himself. So now now that now it's called the ambulance, but not for me time. Uh let's go here to hit the queen. Whoa. Oh no, did I just throw this game? Oh my god, I just threw, didn't I? I just freaking threw this game. I got too careless and I threw this game. Yeah, I got careless. Oh, yeah, yeah. I threw a game. Okay, let's make mate in five. Takes, 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 check, check. Rook h1 mate. Bishop d7, queen c1. Rook c1. Rook c1, king h2. Hey, is that a low on time? Knight g4, king come back. King h2, knight g4, then knight f2, then rook h1 mate. But if he play after bishop d7, takes d7. Queen takes c1, rook takes c1, rook queen takes f1. C1. Is that Should check? take queen knight f1 to prevent mate. Check. Knight takes f2. Check. Don't get flagged here. King h2. I see Black. mate in five Black. before. Black. Checkmate. <laughs> if when you play a queen, uh... <laughs> GG. Looks like puzzle rush, my friends. When you play this move, queen b4, queen b5, I see mate in five. Tuesdays. I'm gonna win this tournament. Clip someone, clip this. I'm I'm saying here that I will win title Tuesday. In how many weeks though? Hmm, okay, that part I, I need to figure out. But I'm gonna win the title Tuesday. That's it. Basta ya. Yeah. yeah, guys, I'm gonna win on the stream and uh, post on YouTube like Nakamura, how he does. Like, uh, wins the title Tuesday and post on, on YouTube. That's it. I'm gonna do it, guys. Five weeks is too short, though. I don't know. Um, so that was just, that was just insane. Oh, baby, come on. Let's take and go rook a6. He takes and I go rook a6 and his checkmate. Um, And that's game over. He just resigns. He resigns. Oh, it looks good. Looks exactly like what I thought I would get which is a giant ass chicken. Sandwich. Yum. 
Aha. That's really good. Threatening checkmate. Oh, you know. Yeah, no, I'm proving checkmate. I'm proving checkmate. I'm proving checkmate, everybody. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> there we go. Well, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. And, and we Sam see Sam Sebion waiting in the like, I, I mean, like you said at the start there, Maurice, I think Sam was saying, draw, please. Yes. You guys just make a draw so that when it's my turn to play, you know, I, I'm not under the pressure of having to win. Uh, over to your board, Maurice. Where did that moment, was it night D5? Well, by the way, we should note, Sam is now forced to win one game. Precisely. Sam cannot draw two games. So right. that could open up the possibility right. of Fabiano Caruana taking advantage of that need of Sam Sevian to win this game and potentially win a game himself. Well, it, 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 it may not be yes. this, well, this yes. game. If he decides that he has to win with White against Fabi, he needs to win with then White. Then that gives, that, that opens the door. He doesn't need to win with White. He has two chances to win. Of course, the odds of winning with white in the next game... No, no, with black. With black, I mean. The odds of winning with black, with black in the next Wesley. game are much lower, but he doesn't absolutely... Um, that allows rookie three takes, takes king h8. I have nothing. Very sad. Okay, let's just... um. I guess I'll just go here and rookie two. Oh, we're going to go bishop d3. Nice. Look. Oh! Oh, that's what the sound was! <laughs> That's what the sound was. <laughs> and here the pin is very temporary because if White simply develops his bishop, then he is going to castle out of the pin and the bishop is going to be left, you know, uh, the bishop is going to be left, um, you know, it's, it's like miners who <laughs> come to California for the gold rush two years late. It's like all of the gold has been panned already. Um, you're going to look awkward here. He brings his king up, I fork. The king and the rook. And without this detail, again, I think this position is probably a draw. So this was an insane sequence. I showed this in the commentary after the game. I had calculated this, and I was actually kind of hoping he would go for it, but he didn't end up even going knight d3. He went f3, which is totally innocuous and lets me push my pawn. So, yeah, cool calculations, but that ended up remaining behind the scenes. So, I had thread. See what he does. It was 96 now. I mean, I have f3 if I want. f3, knight, f6, queen, b6 is one line. Whoa. Oh, wait. No. Oh, that was the other board. Sorry. Okay. Got scared for that. I'm like, what just happened? Did you just capture a piece or something? Like, okay, let's just go. No, let's go here. <laughs> yeah, with both, with both boards open, it, with, with, with the sounds coming on both boards, it's actually going. That's a bummer. I was really hoping to avoid that in, um, in the speed run. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. Thank you to Oz, Oz Cancer for the Prime. Thank you to GM Hushinbath with the raid with 146. Thank you so much to all the people watching. A week, yeah. or maybe not more yeah. than a week, but more than a couple of months, yeah. has probably both been on the receiving and on the giving end of this. I think one week, you're already on the receiving end. <laughs> but it takes maybe a month before or two before you're on the giving <laughs> end of this. So Creamsicle can relate, among others, I'm sure. I'm yeah. a renter. Only on a... I shouldn't have read that out. I said Amaranth only receives, but then maybe there's some double entendre. There. Yeah, I can take play rook a7. 
everything's guarded here, so I'm, I probably will just take with the H pawn. Play rook a7, rook e7. Do I use delay for stream? No, because I think I'm just that good at chess that I don't need to. Okay, let's go queen h4. Rook guards the pawn, of course. Nice try, but unfortunately it doesn't work. I was ready for it. Yeah, I'm just an idiot, as usual. It's check here, check. Knight here, he can take to the four karu. So check if king g4, knight f6, you got fossilized. So it's check, only square here. He can't take to the, the fork. Um, check here, knight d6. Leaves queen c6, only move knight f7, check. If g6, you have the fork. If f6, you go rook h6, you win. If g4, you have the fork. If f4, you go check on h4, checkmate, yes. And now check and collect the queen. There we go. Yeah. What are we betting on? Are we on 60? 60? Was... I'm going to tickle him just to be annoying, and then I'll, then I'll change it up. I'm just going to be really annoying. Let's go here. I'm just going to do the tickle tickle and be really, really annoying. I didn't even have... Okay, let's do the tickle tickle. Let's be even more annoying. Let's piss him off a little bit more. Okay, let's take. Let's do the tickle tickle. Check, and let's take the pawn. <laughs> okay, let's tickle tickle again. Let's go back for more. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Rude. Exactly. Ish. I'm going to go h3 here. I'm going to play something very slow. I just want to go g4. If he plays h4, I think I have a trick with e4. I can also just go queen f4 and take the pawn. Yeah, this is actually probably simplest. Thank you to e10 d's nuts for the gifted sub. Thank you so much to e10. Is it mandatory to wear suits at chess tournaments? Um, they generally have a dress code along those lines, yeah. Go e4, knight c3. Wait, did I beat this guy already? I think I might have played this guy, or maybe it's a different guy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I gave him knight d4. That was actually kind of stupid. I want to actually have a checkmate, so I'm going to go c3 here. Actually, let's just go c4 and mate him this way. Um, There must be a mate. Check and mate. There we go. 